Hey girls, welcome back. I hope now my internet is better. So I'm gonna go ahead and invite our lovely, beautiful Kate, who's going to show more outfit ideas to rock our small boobies. Ooh, I love that. <laughs> I love that. Hello, everyone. Look at you. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, so explain to us, where are you going that beautiful? You got to get the full effect. I got I to gotta show the whole outfit. It's way too good. I wear this way too often. Like, I go out, and this is, like, my go-to. Oh, crap. Ugh. Okay. So I'll just do this. My Wonder Woman boots. Um, this is, like, my favorite go-to going out outfit. It is so sexy. Um, this is something that I would wear either going out with my girlfriends or, you know, if I had a man, I would probably wear this. We don't um, need a man, babe, to look no, at. No, we don't. We don't. Yeah. We don't need it. No, not at all. But, oh, my God, it's just red is such a power color, and this bra is just divine is it not is it not <laughs> it is it is so by the beautiful. way girls she's actually wearing the jador set of course she's just showing the bra because the panties are just too sexy for <laughs> yeah. the people out there <laughs> yeah but it's okay the the perk about having small boobs is you can wear a bra as a top and get away with it so we're gonna rock it and I do it all the time. I'll, I'll do it with that. And the same exact outfit, I'll wear it with the everyday brow too, so. Absolutely. I love this. I love this. And you know what I love the most are the boots. I think those boots are like amazing. They're, they're a stunner and they, are, they get so many compliments too. They're just so different. I'm trying to hike my shoes up there, but. Um, no, this is like, this is an outfit, honestly, that I walk into the bar and strut my stuff. And as humble as I can say it, people are like, of course, <laughs> like, oh, because confidence is sexy. Confidence is so sexy. And if you're wearing something you feel good in, you just have this like air about you that just, you just walk like you mean business. And this is just perfect for that. It's delicate, it's edgy, it's sexy. Got a little bit of hardware here. Got the patent boots, red. Oh, it's just to die for. Especially now it. with like Valentine's Day coming up, perfect for that. I love it. And you know what was the best part is that you're so right about us having the privilege to wear bralettes or bras or tiny tops and just go out and we look amazing yes. in them, right? We we don't need to be worried about, I don't know, just having all eyes on our chest if as if we had a bigger, bigger boob, which has like, they look amazing as well. It's just that oh, yeah. you might feel a bit uncomfortable when people is just looking at your boobs rather than the whole outfit, right? And we have that. A privilege, I guess. That's yeah. name. <laughs> I take full of wearing unique tops. So like if you have a smaller chest, take advantage of it and take advantage of like all of the open canvas you have as like a work of art and find some really interesting tops. Like this is gorgeous. Like all of this lace detail, super gorgeous. Um, with like with the everyday bra, I'll take the straps and I'll like do like an asymmetrical Kind of, yeah, uh, I love that style. Yes. So you just have fun with like different cuts and different like unique features. I also have this little bra top that I wear quite often. And it's got this really fun little keyhole that goes there. And um, one, one shoulder tops, like take advantage of having some fun with your tops because you have so many options and so many things that not a lot of people can fit into, but you can. 
you can fit into exactly. it. Exactly, so, exactly, babe. Fun. Own it, own it, and celebrate yeah. your boobies. They gave you so many blessings, and it's just a shift of mindset, you know? It's once you kind of learn to see the good side of having a small chest, you just open your mind to so many possibilities and outfit ideas and ways to feel like a queen with your own self, with your real body. You don't need to change anything to feel amazing and to feel like the goddess you actually are. Just, yep. just a small motivation <laughs> speech. Yes, yes, preach it. Love it. <laughs> Yay. I just wish my internet will, will be better so that you can actually see me instead of like no. being No, it's frozen. so much better now. It's so much better. Okay. That car, okay. That car vibe yeah. is just killing it. It, it yeah. helps so much. No, honestly, I'm really so trying much. everywhere. I'm trying to find the best place where I can have good internet, but here in Peru, it's just so hard. But, so I'm going to blame the country right for the bad internet. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you have super good lighting right now. It's just beautiful. Oh, yeah. Shows off the new hair so nicely. Oh, yeah. Thank you, babe. Okay, okay. Let's, let's go back to the small boob um, outfit ideas topic. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> um, so tell me, do you want to share with us any other detail or like inspiration that got you to that, this amazing result? How how come you you came up with this idea? I actually love it. Um, like idea of different tops. Of like, like yeah, of like this red skirt and the red boots. Like, did you? I don't know. Maybe like I usually okay. get inspo in movies or like oh, in okay. social media to together. find this. Okay, I'm reading. Yeah. Now. So. Um, Pinterest is the easiest thing, obviously. We all have a Pinterest score full of our outfit inspirations, all that jazz. Um, So I find things that I really like and gravitate towards. But also, this is essentially my alter ego persona. Her name's Bianca. She's really cool. I love her. So I like, before I go out, I think, who do I want to be tonight? You know, what, what story? I love that. You know, like, what character do I want to play tonight? And this one comes Ooh. out more often than, yeah, than others. I know that red makes me feel confident. So I gravitate towards colors that make me feel powerful. And if I feel, yeah. feel like really powerful in an outfit, I know I'm going to rock it. I'm going to feel good that night. Then I'm not just going to like hide and be all like mm, in the corner. Like, no, I'm going to flaunt my stuff and I'm going to show who I am and my creativity and my, just what I worked for body wise and all that stuff. So Pinterest and knowing my power colors. Um, also, this maybe doesn't tie in with, with what you're asking, but I need to throw it in here before I forget. Of course. So let's say your wardrobe is not where you want it to be. You don't really like it. It's not vibing. Um, start learning how to shop online. Um, not everybody likes it. I get it. Like some people are afraid of it. They're like, I don't know my size. It freaks me out. It takes too long. I can't try things on. I get it hard, but your little bubble of what you have around you for availability for like shopping can sometimes be detrimental to your style because not all brands make clothing that will look good on you or fit you properly. So trying new brands, trying new sites, trying new fits and cuts is really important to finding your style. And the second that I started shopping online more, I found my unique style quicker. I found things that fit me better. And I found things that were just more unique to me as an individual. And um, now I just, I rarely shop in my area. I just, I just don't do it because it doesn't, it it never fits quite as well as the brands that I've found online. So that's just a little tip I'd throw in there. Just expand your horizons of brands and like where you shop because it really does help. I love that tip. That's that's so true. And you know what? Like um, nowadays, a lot of brands, they will offer you all the time free returns and like really easy exchange in case something doesn't fit you most probably have the option to just return anything that you bought and just get your money back like like we do 
we always offer that. You, you have with us 30 days uh, try at home um, kind of perk. So you, you can just order any size and call that you want to try. Try at home and then return it if it doesn't fit. Uh, yeah. And like us, there's so many brands that do that. So don't be afraid to try uh, different shops online and just find your favorite, as Kate says. I think that's a great tip and idea. Yeah, yep. So those are some tips um, for that. I, before I switch my genre, I'm going to put on one more like going out outfit that would go with these boots because it deserves to be tried on. Um, go for it. I will like quickly slip away and try this dress on real quick because we need a dress. Okay, like I'm here. I'm just, I don't want to get flagged for swapping out this on camera. Of course, but, but... <laughs> Go for it. I will, I will try to keep people entertained with my voice. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Now, are there any like questions that are popping up? Yeah, let's do that. Okay, guys and girls from the community, can you please put all your questions in the comments below and I will make sure to reply to all of those right now while Kate changed outfit. That will be more interesting than just me talking random stuff. <laughs> um, I'm reading you right now, so... Just let me know if you have any questions. Like, it could be anything. It could be about the brand. It could be about Kate. It could be about a tip that you would like us to chat about. It could be about me, the team. I don't know. Anything, really. Anything. This is your chance to get to know us better. <laughs> if you ever want it. Um, so, my internet is very slow. And... I might take a bit to read the comments in case any is rolling in. Okay. And Kate, please just let me know when you are back so I can stop talking. I am I am here. Okay, so let me Great. drop this down. It's a little mini dress. Okay. No, that's not good enough. Okay. Here is the boots again. Ooh. With this cute little mini dress. And this is a dress that is made by the same brand that I had that white tank top. So it's AYM. Um, same material, it's really slinky, really form fitting. Um, right now, I'm not wearing a bra with it. Like that's, that's the cool thing is this dress, I feel super comfortable wearing without a bra. And this is something that I would wear like on a date night or going like clubbing or dancing and it's just a it's such a show stalker and honestly I could partner the same belt with it if I wanted to edge it up again um but I had to show this dress because I know that trying on dresses without a bra can be scary because you yeah. don't want to feel like it just doesn't fit right. You don't want something ill-fitting. And this just like completely conforms to my body. Um, so thought I'd throw this in there because it's just beautiful and it matches with the red shoes and it's just a vibe. I love that. And I love the belt. Wow. Yeah. And Again, with the spaghetti straps, it just looks so good proportionally. Like, it just fits nice. It looks really elegant. It looks nice on the shoulders. It's just, and then it also um, has the same back. So, I loved it. I had to throw that one in there. I absolutely love Um. My my camera, my internet is a bit slow, so I cannot see the full outfit. But so far, what I'm seeing here, I'm just in love with it. What brand is that dress from? It's AYM. Um, it's, it's an acronym. But AYM has really nice, sustainable basics. And they're double lined, so you don't necessarily need to wear a bra with them. Because they have enough oh, 
back to the third. material. So it's like really um, nice to be able to wear a bra if you want to, but also not necessarily need to wear a bra with their clothing. Um, so I'm a big fan, big fan. And the red skirt was AYM as well. And that, that kind of ties into my find brands that work well with your body and just repeat, buy things that you know fit well. And, yeah. uh, and that's an online brand I didn't know they existed. Um, and I wouldn't have ever found anything like that in my, in my town that I live in. And so definitely try new brands, try expanding your horizons. I know it's scary, but um, definitely worth buying it. Amazing. You know, Kate, I think that we should make a list of all your favorite stores to shop at, okay. like your favorite online stores, and just share them with the girls. Yes. I think they would appreciate it a lot. Yes. Girls, let us know in the comments below if you like the idea, please. Yes, I can make a list of my favorite brands, but also like where I get my favorite tops, where I get my favorite bralettes, favorite you know, bottoms, all yeah, that exactly. stuff. I can break exactly. it down because certain brands do things better than other brands and it's crucial. Yeah, and you know what? I think it will be like, it will be awesome to just do like a guide, you know, where you share your brands and you explain why you love that yeah. brand and like what part you think is the best and like why do you think it fits you so well? So somebody who has a similar type of body can relate to it because I think we are very similar in, in the sense of like we're kind of an athletic body type so I can relate a lot to your um, examples and like choices so I think yeah. that would be awesome heck yeah um, let's do so it let's do guys, it I'm going to pop on an athletic wear outfit the last outfit that I have planned takes some time to get into the boots so I'm going to do my athletic outfit next my athletic wear so i'm gonna slip off camera again um let me know if there are any questions because i can still hear perfect yeah let's do that go go change i will try to entertain people here <laughs> okay so girls i think that's the time to ask questions to kate what would you like her to um talk more about or like what kind of tips you would like to know from her um i i would also love to know what kinds of life like other kind of topics you would like us to talk about because today was the first life we are going we are doing as a collab as a brand and i would love to more to do more for you but i don't know what topics you would like us to to share to talk about and of course, I'm going to try to find a better place with better internet connection so this doesn't happen again. So I'm so sorry about it. Um, as you can see, we are as a small brand. We are just normal girls trying to run a company that empowers women around the world and to just gather a community of women who has small boobs and they want to feel confident they want to feel sexy they want to feel empowered so this thing happens you know because we are just normal people and not like a big corporation or like a big business we're just like you literally we could be friends right now i'm, I'm just like you so that's why things happen like this when you do a live in your car <laughs> with no internet so uh, I'm sorry if there's no much quality, but it's just the reality. And I, I, I want to show you that, that we are real. We are just normal people <laughs> behind this. Um, but we all have a, a mission. And as, as, as I told you, we all in the team have small books as well. And we all do this because we love the mission and we love to share these good vibes and this message to every one of you and try to inspire you to love your body as it is and our goal is that to make you feel more confident and to make you love your small boobies with all your heart <laughs> as cheesy as it sounds but it's true it's true 
And I hope that you're actually seeing my face and not just my voice, because my voice is not that pretty, but anyways. Yay, Katie's back. <laughs> awesome. I love your little story. You guys are the best. You guys are so sweet. I just want to throw Thank it in you. there. Like, you guys have such good energy with your brand, and I just love how like down to earth you are. And I think it's very just different and this day and age we want people we can connect to and relate to and yes. you do it so well and you just Thank love you, it Thank love you since day one <laughs> <laughs> yeah oh my gosh okay so walk us through your new outfit i love it mm. okay so, so i'm a personal trainer that's what i do um for my full-time job like this is not my full-time job i'm a personal trainer and I wear this stuff every day. This would be technically my everyday wear, but um, that's not for everybody. So athletic wear, I have this really nice set from active or this set from set active. Um, I love that their colors are all coordinating. You can get every piece of your outfit in one color family. So I have these um, leggings and I also have the matching one shoulder strapless bra. So like you can get so many different color coordinating outfit pieces. But what I did was I bought a couple colors that I knew could go well together. So these um, are different, but they match really well. So these are brown ribbed leggings. Um, they actually come with their own socks too. And then this is my sports bra. This is like obviously the most important part of this. Um, it is a unpadded bra and just has a normal back. Nothing, it's nothing fancy, but what I love is that it again has this scoop line neck and spaghetti straps. I always find sports bras with these skinny straps. I found that if I try any sports bras on that are thicker, um, that they just make me feel heavier on top and not in a, not in a good way, more of a clunky way. So I try to find these types of straps and with Free. smaller chests, we don't need a whole lot of support so we can get away with wearing these and feeling so comfy. Um, mm -hmm. so loving this sports bra. And like I said, I also have it in the one shoulder bra that matches um also um i love these for the loom bralettes and i wear these as sports bras too you can get these at walmart they're super cheap super inexpensive they come in a three pack and it essentially looks the same just in a red color but i wear these as sports bras too like we can get away with wearing bralettes as sports bras no big deal um, I recently have converted from wearing sports bras with padding to wearing sports bras with no padding, and I will not go back to padding. Hate it so much. Like, yeah. I had a moment where I saw myself in a padded sports bra, and I was like, this feels so unnatural on my body. Exactly, I, exactly. You know, yeah. like, it just looked out of place and having no padding and just the more you do it, the more it feels natural and the more it feels like you're honoring your own body and you're not trying to disguise it. Like, amen. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> There's just something that, that hits about getting to a point where you're like, I don't need padding. And it's a liberating feeling to get to that point And then, once you break down that like nervous feeling of not having padding in your bras, you're like, you know what? I like this better. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I like it better. And I look amazing. Yeah, babe. I agree with that. What you said. Um, I hate wearing sport sports bra that has a padding. I think that it just makes me look so fake and that's not me. Yeah. And I'm just so used to seeing my small chest and just like almost flat which I don't think saying flat is a bad thing like I no. love how flat it looks 
so yeah, just wearing a padded bra, it, uh, it's, it's just not yourself, right? It's, it, it's just not you. You, you, don't, you don't feel authentic. That's the word, I think. Yeah, exactly. And it looks so good on you. You have such an athletic, beautiful body. Like it just fits. It looks so good. 10 out of 10. Highly recommend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and okay. i and i want also i want to also say that you are so right about not wearing sports bra with like um thick or like big straps because i think that we that have small boobs we have to show off a lot our collarbone like that's yeah. the most yeah. beautiful part that i find beautiful so whenever you have like really spaghetti straps or like really tiny straps, it just shows off this beautiful area of your body. So don't be afraid of just showing it off a lot. Yeah. It looks so sexy in, in, in my opinion, right? Oh yeah, we're such an open canvas up here that we just have so much room to play. So like, why not? Like wear some fun necklaces, like fun Christmas yeah. trailing. Just like have fun with your like, it's basically like an art canvas, you know, this, this, what I say next is going to definitely go off topic, but so I have a sternum tattoo right here and everybody loves it. They're like obsessed with it. They're like, Oh my God, I love it so much. And I've had so beautiful. all chested women be like, I didn't think that I could have a sternum tattoo as a woman with a smaller chest. And I'm like, no, honey, no, that is the perfect blank canvas for any tattoo you've ever exactly. wanted. Exactly. So, yes. yes. <laughs> yep. yep. Love it. So get yeah. the tattoo. Get the tattoo. If you want it, get it. Highly recommend. It was the best decision I ever made. So that. It looks so sexy. So, so <laughs> sexy. Yes. Okay. Now I have um, one outfit left, but this one takes me a minute to get into the boots because the boots are super hot. Um, so again, I'm going to sneak off camera and put that on. This is my going out clubbing outfit, like sexy night, own yourself, like top of the notch. Ooh, I'm excited so. to see that one. Okay. <laughs> Who's excited as well? Please, guys and girls, put the heart, the like heart, so I can see your excitement in my screen. Give Kate all your love. All right, yeah. guys. So this is almost the last. Is the last outfit, right? Yep. Um. So this is your chance to make any questions that you have right now, so we get to reply to them before we end this live. And I wanna say thank you so much for sticking with us until the end, even though it has been so bumpy and it's not like a normal life, you are amazing. You stay here with us almost, how long? Like over 30 minutes. So re I really appreciate it. We all here at Perfezione appreciate your support, your love, Every single like, every single comment, it makes our day. We literally screenshot all the comments and DMs that we get and we find inspiring and we just share it in a Slack channel and we all love to read you and we feel so blessed to have you. So never stop doing it. Never stop just sharing your stories or anything that is in your mind. We love to support you and to... Just try to do our best to be with you and reply to every single question that you have. Um, so Mary.brxs says, I don't have a question in mind, but thanks for existing. You are all so cute. Thank you. <laughs> That's so sweet. I appreciate that. Thank you so much. That's very, very sweet. We all do it for that, just just to connect with you guys, guys uh, girls and guys. We really appreciate it. And Kate, please let me know when you're back, because my internet okay, is lovely. Okay, sounds good. Just get your boots Are you? on. Oh, okay. The boots, oh, the yeah. boots. I actually love boots. I just feel like now in summer, I'm in Peru, so it's summer, and I just cannot wear the boots as often as 
if I were in winter, and I miss them so much. They are just so sexy. They, they just make any outfit look 10 times better. Am I right, yeah. Kate? Yeah. Oh, definitely. And less chance to fall, you know? Yeah. Love it, love I'm it. not good with heels. I love this. Babe, next time that I'm there in the States, I have to go visit you. We wow, have to make, so we have to make a video together. It's way too cold for you in North Dakota. <laughs> okay, then let's meet somewhere. Girls, yeah. where would you like to have a Perfezione meet and greet? And we will have Kate there. <laughs> Yes. Okay. That's she was doing in Miami. I think I, I think Miami is a good spot, babe. It's yeah. it's warm. I'm down. Let's do it either Miami or New York City. So you guys vote. Yes, Where would you like vote. us to do the meet and greet? <laughs> we are that's dreaming that's here, but you know what? Maybe it can be true. Like it can turn true, right? Okay, here is my final outfit. I'm going to move Yay! this back because these boots are tall. So, oh my gosh, that is woman. I'll have no, to that's show like... like three pieces. Yes, girl. That's so, nice. this is a full leather outfit. I love it to death. I wore this out like last weekend and got so many compliments on it they were like holy crap Catwoman! there you are yes. Catwoman, yeah that's yes. what... <laughs> i love it i love the top you know i freaking love the top so this is a bustier um i got it on revolve it's nbd um what i am obsessed with when it comes to this bustier is it doesn't have like the built-in cups it's just boning so whatever Amazing. you have going on you don't need to fit it into like a already preformed cup if that makes any sense um because some bustiers i feel like they just i'll never fill them out and i'll never like sit properly in them so one that doesn't have that is perfect um because it just has the boning in it right yep. here and it just snatches you in so nicely it's just a zip I love it. You could wear a bra with it. I'm wearing a strapless, but you could also just like take the strapless off and not wear a bra. That's totally acceptable. And then these are just some leather leggings from Commando. Um, really sleek and high waisted, beautiful. But this is like the ultimate vibe. It just screams confidence. Like wear stuff that makes you feel confident in your best and nobody will care about what your chest looks like like nobody's gonna care they're gonna see a strong beautiful hot confident woman and be like damn there she is oh my gosh yes i love it you know what i i think that's the the the, the, the best the biggest takeaway of this life is that Whatever you wear, it really doesn't matter as long as you feel great in yourself, like with yourself, and you um, shine and just portray confidence, then you are good, girl. You, you are going to yeah. look amazing and everyone is going to feel that attraction because you will feel good with yourself. So just work on that. Apart from the outfits, that's like, uh, like something that will help you. But the best and the most important thing is to work in you, like with your confidence. That will help tremendously in your journey, in your self-love journey. Yep. Totally agree, 100%. But I do love that outfit. That's my favorite, I think. Yep. That's why I had to save it for last. Plus, the boots are so hard to get on. There's so many places. <laughs> <laughs> but no, this is like... Oh. This is just a vibe. You had to save it for last because it's just the showstopper. It is like the finale where you clap on the runway. Yes, exactly. Girl, yep. let us know what was your favorite outfit. Was it number one, number two, number three, number four? So number one was the everyday outfit, right? Yep. 
Yep. The number two was the going out and yep. with your girls or with a boy for Valentine's Day outfit. Yep. Number three was the active wear, yes, sportish outfit. And the number four was the killer one. The <laughs> I think we know which one's gonna win. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm not gonna try to yeah to say yeah. anything else so just vote in the comments and let us know what was your favorite so patricia says i only got to see the last one oh i'm so sorry you came a bit late but you know what i will try to repost this live in as an IDTV so you can re-watch the entire thing and have fun with us yes yes <laughs> So Mary oh, yeah. says, perfect. I miss this first two, but this last one is just perfect. So she agrees. <laughs> and <you> so <laughs> Talo Granda B says, I love them all. Oh, uh, yeah. Everyone is just throwing hearts at you, babe. They love it. They love them all. That's true. We're such a good duo. Just... Yay! Even even though there's, there's uh, technical issues, we did a good job. That's I okay. Think. That's okay. There's always going to be something, and you handled it so well. <laughs> Aww, thank you. Well, thank you so much, babe. Do you want to share something else with the with the girls? Um. Honestly, just remember that your chest size doesn't make you less of a woman and repeat that over and over in your head until you believe it's true because you are so much more than your chest and you have to remember that. Yeah, I agree with that, totally agree with that. And go follow my girl, Kate, on Instagram. She's amazing. She always puts out the best content in the world. She's doing very well in tiktok as well so go follow her in tiktok if you are a tiktoker you'll have fun there as well and yeah stay tuned for our next live um i'm gonna try to make another one with you kate if you are down for it we should Heck plan yeah. a new one we should plan I'm a new always one down talking with you oh thank you yeah let's let's, <laughs> let's do let's do one more i think we could actually do one that where we could just chat about yeah. our journey or our story or, or, or like just tips on how to feel more confident or how our journey was so they can get inspired. I think that that would yeah. be awesome because you have also an amazing story and I would love them to know about it a bit more. Yeah, I agree. I think that would be a really beautiful, just cozy, casual sit down, grab yeah, your coffee. Yeah, let's do it. Stand. <laughs> let's do it let's do it let's do it okay let yeah. me let me think what day is the best day and i will let you girls know in the stories thank you so much for your support for being with us for being part of this community for bearing with us almost one hour i i just feel so grateful to have you here and thank you babe you're awesome i just love you so much thank you for you. everything Thank you everyone for uh, joining us. That was so much fun. And I promise we'll do some more stuff. We will do more. Somebody wants to see the podcast. So. <laughs> yeah. Maybe that's Heck a good yeah. idea. We could try. We could try. <laughs> yep. Okay, babe. See you the next one then. Yes. Aloha. Have a good day, everyone. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.